All right, good morning, friends. We are back for math lesson 8.2 today. And today we are gonna be talking about our basic multiplication facts and extending those into what we call extended facts. So make sure you have your journal, a pencil, and a piece of paper, and let's get started with our slate work. Would you, on your paper, write a multiplication fact related to the division fact I'm about to show you? So you know fact families have two division facts and two multiplication facts. I'm gonna show you a division fact, and I'd like you to write a related multiplication fact. All right, the first one is 30 divided by six. Would you please write a related multiplication fact? That would be six times five equals 30, or you could have said five times six equals 30, but the answer to 30 divided by six is five. All right, same idea. 40 divided by 10. Would you please write a related multiplication problem? 40 divided by 10. 10 times 4 equals 40, or you could have said 4 times 10 equals 40. So the answer to 40 divided by 10 is 4. And 27 divided by 9. Please write a related multiplication number sentence. You could have said, oh, my window doesn't want to slide. 9 times 3 equals 27, or of course you can flip it around and say 3 times 9 equals 27, but that means 27 divided by 9 is 3. All right, we have a few more. Same idea. Using 49 divided by 7, please write a related multiplication number sentence. 49 number sentence is 7 times 7 equals 49, so 49 divided by 7 is 7. Try this, 27 divided by 9. What would be a related multiplication fact? 9 times 3 equals 27, or 3 times 9 equals 27. Either way, 27 divided by 9 equals 3. And 81 divided by 9. What would be the related multiplication number sentence? It would be 9 times 9 equals 81. So 81 divided by 9 is 9. We have three more. Same thing. Here is the division number sentence. You write down the related multiplication sentence. 42 divided by 6. 6 times 7 is 42, or 7 times 6 is 42, but 42 divided by 6 would equal 7. 54 divided by 9. What's a related multiplication number sentence? 9 times 6 equals 54. So 54 divided by 9 is 6. And finally, 63 divided by 7 equals what? A related multiplication number sentence would be 7 times 9 equals 63, or 9 times 7 equals 63. So 63 divided by 7 is 9. All right, we are going to move into today's lesson, which is all about extended multiplication and division facts. So on that same piece of paper, would you write down the solution to this number story? It says, the field day racetrack is 80 meters long. How many meters will the racers travel if they run the track eight times? Please write down your answer. racetrack is 80 meters long. How many meters if the racers run the track eight times? If you need more time, hit pause, but I'm going to go ahead and show the solution. The answer is 640 meters. There are a few ways you could have thought about this problem. 
One way would have been to think that you have 80 eight times. So you might add 80, oops, plus 80, plus 80, plus 80, plus 80, plus 80, one, two, three, four, five, six, plus 80 equals 640. That's a lot of adding. So you might have seen that it might have been easier to do eight times 80. And if so, maybe you used a helper fact, like you knew eight times 40, and then put those two answers together. But I wanna show you that there is a basic multiplication fact hidden inside this bigger fact. You see that this is eight times eight tens. 80 is eight tens. So I could see this basic multiplication fact and think, hmm, what's eight times eight? I know that eight times eight is 64, but since it's not eight times eight, it's eight times eight tens, my answer would be 64 tens. So again, 640. That's what we call an extended fact. We're gonna practice some more extended facts together before we work in your journal. Let's look at the next slide. Two times 30 would be another example of an extended fact. And one way we could think about this is using our base 10 blocks. So on my toolkit, you can see across the bottom, and you're welcome to do this on your toolkit too, I've pulled up the base 10 blocks. And for the problem, 2 times 30, I saw a basic fact in there of 2 times 3. So I could just think of two groups of three. There's one group of three. And then here's another group of three. So I would be able to say that two groups of three is six. That's the basic fact. But the problem was actually two times 30. So I'm going to think of groups of 10. We had one, two, three, that's one group of 30, and then one, two, three, there's my other group of 30, and then we have 30 and another group of 30, so two times 30 would be 60. So going back to this answer, what is two times 30? 60. If I wanted to extend it, and I'll just write in our answers here, two times three was six, two times 30 was 60. We can extend it even farther. The next question says two times 300. Let's go back to our toolkit. If I'm talking about hundreds this time, I want to use, remember we call them waffles, our hundred flats. So there's one, two, three hundred, and another one, two, three hundred. And I can see that this group of three hundred and another group of three hundred which means two groups of 300 would be 600. And if I just wanted to count by hundreds by these waffles, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. So going back to our page, two times 300 is 600. Let's try it again with a different basic fact. Let's extend the fact three times five. We should all know that three times five is 15. But if we wanted to extend that to three groups of 50, I would st 
still. Let me come back here and clear. I would still be able to use my base 10 blocks to show 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. That's one group of 50. 10, 20, 30, 40, whoop, 50. That's two groups of 50. I need three groups of 50. One, two, three, four, five. Now, how many groups? We have three groups of 50. So you could either count by tens for how many um, French fries we have on the board or count by groups of 50. 50, 100, 150. So the extended fact three times 50 is 150. That looks terrible, but I'm going to leave it because my pen's being um, tricky. All right, and then we would go back and need to do waffles for three times 500. Would you right now do some thinking about if you had three groups of five waffles, how many would you have in all? The basic fact is three times five. Hit pause if you need to, but I'm going to go ahead and write that 3 times 500 would be 1,500. All right, now it's time to open your journals. Would you please open to page 255? Page 255. All right, hit pause if you need to to get your um, journal, but when you're ready, let's do number one together. It says, show each set of problems using base 10 blocks. Whoops. Use the baby, the french fry, and the waffle to show what you did, and then write the product. So, you know we do this a lot in class with our um, babies, french fries, and waffles. So, the basic fact for set one is two times three. Two times three would be three babies, here we go, one, two, three, and another three babies, one, two, three, and all together, you have six babies. Then for two times 30, you would show a set of 30 using French fries, and then another set of 30 using French fries, and all together, you have 60. Six French fries would equal 60. And then for two times 300, you would have to show two groups of three waffles. So one, two, three, and another. One, two, three. So all together, you have six waffles. So that would be 600. All right. I'm going to ask you to finish this page on your own, but before that, I'd like you to turn the page to page 256. 256. 256 is more practice with extended multiplication facts, but it also involves some division facts. So before we get started, let's look at how this might work for division. It's very similar. On the screen, you'll see the problem 210 divided by three. Does anyone see a hidden basic fact within there? So the basic fact in here is 21 divided by three. What is 21 divided by three? Hmm, I would think to myself, what times 3 equals 21? And that is 7. 21 divided by 3 is 7. And then going back to our original problem, it wasn't 21 divided by 3. It was 210 divided by 3. So if we're talking about 21 tens, my answer is going to be 7 
tens or 70. So extended division facts work much the same as extended multiplication facts. You have to look for the hidden basic fact and then extend it by either tens, hundreds. We won't get to thousands today, but it would work the same. All right, let's see. This is what page 256 looks like. I would like to do number four on this page with you, and then I'll ask you to complete the rest on your own. The basic fact is 320 divided by four. There is a hidden basic fact in there. Do you see it? Yes, the basic fact is 32 divided by four. What is 32 divided by four? I might think to myself, what times four equals 32? Eight times four equals 32. So when I come down to 320 divided by four, instead of being 32, it's 32 tens. So instead of my answer being eight, my answer would be eight tens or 80. All right. So today, your job, just to review, is to turn back the page, finish 255. Oh, I don't know why it does that every time. Let me erase. Okay. Your job today is finish 255 and 256. Then do math boxes, 8-2. And then later today... Home link 82. Some of you will notice that there is a journal page 257 in between the journal um, pages 256 and math boxes. 257 is optional. If you would like to do it, you are more than welcome to, but you do not have to do it. It's going to ask you to measure some books in your house. Um, and if you choose to do it, you do not have to do number three on that page. Um, what I would like you to do, everybody, is this. 255, 256, math boxes, and home link. All right, I'll see you back here tomorrow. Good luck.